Finally, this hour, it's Friday, which means it's time for your weekly can't-miss list with all the movies and shows you need to see this weekend. Let's bring entertainment journalist, pop culture expert Brian Balthazar, friend of the show. Brian, good to have you with us. I feel like we're chatting with each other on opposite ends of the Starship Enterprise here. So, <laughs> Right, it's very Minority Report. Just go like right. this a little bit through between the films and we're, we're good to go. If I don't like what you're saying, we'll just start. Right. I will love what you're saying. Let's start in the right, theaters. Exactly. Albany Road, it's a road trip but with a twist, right? Right. This is a, a smaller release film. Uh, this is uh, in mostly AMC theaters. This stars Renee Elise Goldsberry and Lynn Whitfield. Uh, Renee's character is a young woman who needs to get to a business meeting, a very important meeting, and somehow, through a series of uh, unfortunate events, has to share a ride with her ex fiance's mother. Uh, this is really about relationships, di relationship dynamics, um, and, but there's also a secret that her almost mother-in-law has been keeping from her that is going to uproot everything and cause a lot of drama. Uh, again, it's getting a lot of a lot of good early buzz, actually, from the people who have seen it at some festivals early on in the year. That's cool. Renee is is great. She, of course, Tony winner for Hamilton, Girls Five Eva. Yeah. If you love that show, all right. Holiday movie yeah. season, Red One. We got Dwayne Johnson. We got Chris Evans. We've got Lucy Liu. This seems like it could be a hit. Yeah, this is interesting. So this is a story of Santa has been kidnapped, and we need to get the help of operative extremely large and formidable, note the letters there, spell out elf, that's Dwayne The Rock Johnson and Chris Evans, to rescue him. Um, the interesting thing about this, if you're a parent, the, the biggest fans of Santa may be too young for this film. It's probably going to reach a slightly older, maybe early teen or teen audience. So parents who are going to consider saying their kids should take a look at the trailer before setting this, but it's action-packed, funny, and it has all those kind of innuendos that are meant only for adults in there too so i think this is going to be a holiday crowd pleaser but parents should take a look before they send their youngest kids to this not going to be the polar express all right so let's move to tv nbc right, has not. a new <laughs> has a new medical mockumentary it is called saint dennis medical it's being compared with the office my mother-in-law texted the other day she was watching it and really liked it what should we know Right, so this is kind of the office meets Scrubs because it's, it's a mockumentary. Wendy McClendon Covey, who you know there from the Goldbergs and uh, Reno 911. I mean, she's just a comedic treasure. Also stars David Allen Greer. And it is just the misadventures and the craziness of this hospital staff and administration and things that happen. It's kind of nice to see a hospital uh, show that's not a gripping drama with uh, constantly tearing at your heartstrings. This is funny. You can see this on Peacock. Um, it's also streaming. It's also airing on linear television you can watch wow. it on tv what? live um or should i say live you know but uh but you can stream the two episodes on peacock right now and then of course uh every week okay and then, let, then there's binge watching there's a new streaming series that is on peacock this one is called day of the jackal i know you've got eddie redmayne in it and it's based on a book Right. Okay. So this is uh, uh, based on Frederick Forsyth's 97, 1971 novel, and Eddie Redmayne is an assassin, and Latasha, I'm sorry, Lashana Lynch is a killer. I'm sorry, she is the British intelligence officer who's trying to track him down. Um, it kicks off with a five episode drop, and then switch, switches to weekly installments. It is incredibly well. Uh, the cinematography, the photography is incredible, and of course the performances. You have great acting performances from Eddie Redmayne and Lashana Lynch. I, I just love this kind of action thriller and the, the assassin who always seems to get away in the nick of time through a series of incredible means. This is a really compelling series to watch. I probably threw you off because I skipped one we were going to talk about, and it's for folks who like Yellowstone. The show's creator, Taylor Sheridan, has a new limited series. It's on Paramount, and it's called Landman. What should we know? Right. This is kind of a drama that's like the roughnecks versus the millionaires. And it's placed in, in uh, the, the billionaire executives who employ these uh, workers in oil country of Texas. And it was based on a popular podcast. The, um, the incredible cast, though, I have to say, Billy Bob Thornton, John Hamm, Demi Moore, Andy Garcia, Ali Larder. Um, the first two of the 10 episodes are streaming on Paramount on day one, and then they'll be going out weekly. This is just kind of like a, a drama. And if you like Yellowstone, you're going to like the way the stories unfold on this as well. And a lot of people like Yellowstone. That's a great cast there, too. All right, we got like 30 seconds left here. Mm -hmm. Say Nothing is on Hulu. This one also based on a book, right? 
Right, yeah, and this is tracing the true stories of multiple IRA members across about four decades of the troubled times in Northern Ireland. Uh, again, this is if, if this is your if this is your speed, this is for you. I know you're out of time, but check this out on FX. All right, or on Hulu, I should say. That one's on Hulu. There's so many things to keep track of nowadays, but plenty to watch this weekend. Right, FX produces it, and it airs on Hulu. <laughs> it's a great. Me this is why we need the Minority Port <laughs> right, Report exactly. Squares to get it all squared away. We're gonna make some charts here and just surround your face with the charts. All right. Brian, always good to have you with us. That's going to do it for this hour of morning news now. The news continues right now.